Alright, today I'm going to cut all the introduction and get straight into business. I'm going to teach you how to do some chicken biryani. And so we have these things uh, just to get our standards right. This is a tablespoon and this is a teaspoon. And here is a whole chicken. It's about 1.7 kilos. This chicken has got bones as well as meat. Obviously chicken has bones. And I use bony chicken for biryani because the bones act as spacers. And between those spaces, the um, flavored juices and all that can creep into the meat and give it a good environment to cook. And by the way, if you're using just boneless, then the proportions of all the, uh, the spices and ingredients sort of relatively increases because obviously the meat takes up more spice than the bones. All right, then moving on to the next thing, I'm, I'm going to use a quarter, that is a liter of oil. Any oil will do, don't use engine oil. Any oil, any cooking oil will do. And these, this is a small to medium sized onion and I'm going to use one and a half. I'm going to dice them, but this is just for demonstration. Two um, heaped tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. And then moving on to any biryani masala will do, doesn't matter. Any biryani masala. And I'm going to use uh, one heaped tablespoon of biryani masala, a little bit of bay leaves here, and then seven pods of uh, cloves, one cinnamon, and uh, three pods of, um, what are these? Cardamom. Cardamom, all right. I put these, these are not necessary, but I put these because people will know that you actually put some ingredients, otherwise the biryani will actually look, uh, feel, uh, feel very tasty, but you won't see any ingredients, and that's why I put these. And I'm going to use two heaped uh, teaspoons of chili powder and half a table, uh, half a uh, teaspoon of turmeric, two flat tablespoons of uh, salt just for the chicken, and half a flat of tablespoon uh, salt for the rice. Of course, here we've got mint leaves for flavor. You can add as many as you want, and then uh, for come back to the chicken. Come back to the chicken here. As I said, this chicken is 1.7 kilos. So generally people put equal weight of rice to the chicken, but we want more meat and less rice. So I will just put one kilo of rice for this, which I have not showed in this ingredient section of this video. All right. So. Yeah, so I put the onions in the oil and the onions are frying. Yeah, now if you notice, these onions are not raw, they have been fried a little bit. And they are not completely fried like you would fry them for a chicken curry. It, it, they've just reached one fourth way to being fried if you were to make it for chicken curry. At this point, I'm going to add some, the ginger garlic paste that I mentioned, one heap teaspoon, uh, tablespoon there, and then another half for the remaining half kilo. So that's ginger garlic paste now added. Why I add the ginger garlic paste to the onions is that the onions form a scaffold on which the, the ginger garlic paste rests and it will, be, it will fry more uniformly without getting stuck to the bottom. And then now, I fry both of these things together so that the onions will reach halfway through frying and ginger garlic paste will reach one fourth through frying if you were actually going to fry these for chicken curry. So you understand, right? So I'm not going to fry them too much. At the same time, I'm not leaving them raw. So that's, that's the secret behind the taste of my biryani because during this time of frying, all the flavors get into the oil and when the oil gets into the rice, the rice will be uh, tasty as well. And of course, because I've done this little bit of frying the chicken also, will be tasty all right now if you notice the combined onion and ginger garlic paste have reached or just about to cross halfway through being completely fried if you were to fry them for chicken curry at this point in time i'm going to put the stove in real real lowest simmer mode and and then add the leaves add the cloves Add the cinnamon there and 
what is what are these you say? Cardamom. Add the cardamom as well and just give a little bit of a fry so that these flavors will leak out into this whole concoction of this Drood's magic portion.